And by now you've heard the warning to avoid romaine lettuce from a region of Arizona because of E. coli concerns. This as new infections are being reported every day. CBS 4's Nikki Batiste has more on the investigation into a cause. Government health officials are still trying to determine the source of an E. coli outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. The CDC cautions that consumers should not eat any type of romaine grown in Yuma, Arizona. We are advising people um, if they can't confirm uh, that their lettuce did not come from Yuma, Arizona, that they go ahead and throw it out, don't buy it, don't eat it. The CDC is now reporting 84 people in 19 states have been infected. Half were hospitalized, including nine with kidney failure. People with E. coli infections usually get sick three to four days after eating a contaminated food. They get bloody diarrhea, stomach cramps, and their illness typically lasts about a week. This E. coli outbreak, we're seeing a higher proportion of ill people being hospitalized. Fortunately, romaine has a short shelf life. In the winter, most comes from Arizona, but production there is wrapping up and now shifts to California. We can hope that a lot of this lettuce will be um, out of shelf life and be off the shelf soon and that a lot of restaurants and grocery stores and people in their homes have, have heard our advice. So we're, we're hoping that, that the illnesses will, will start to taper off. The CDC says it will continue to monitor for new illnesses and will update its guidance on what people should not be eating if necessary. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. Health officials say you should talk to your doctor if you come down with any of the symptoms of an E. coli infection and report your illness to the local health department.